Yo, what's up guys? I know it's been a while, but I am back now and I'm definitely making this video out of my own will and definitely didn't get forced by my teacher to do this. Anyways, in today's video I'll be comparing YouTube versus Twitch and seeing which of these two social media giants is better than the other. And since now I'm a big time YouTuber, I feel like I'm perfectly qualified to determine which of these two platforms is better than the other. And to be able to do that, we'll be taking a look stat by stat which of these platforms is better objectively with no bias at all. Let's start off with YouTube. Well, YouTube has a strength in where you can make videos that anyone from any time can watch. And that means that even after you've made the video and it may not have done as good as you wanted, there's still people that can come and watch as the video is still there until you take it down or YouTube take it down because of some reason. Now, that's completely different from streaming, where streaming, after you've done streaming, the VOD, yeah, sure, it can stay for a bit, uh, and on YouTube it can stay permanently, but no one's gonna watch a stream VOD as streaming is different. So, YouTube is better for growing an audience. While in the subject of streaming, let's talk about YouTube streaming. YouTube streaming is actually really nice and honestly, it's underrated. People just dislike it because it's not known for streaming. It has a donation system which comes as a super chat and it also has a membership system which is a really good system as the creator can choose how much the viewer, you, the viewer, pays to get these member only features. Both platforms have a membership and donation system. Let's talk about Twitch's membership system. Well, Twitch has a tier system to its membership. It has three different tiers, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. And in US dollar, it's 4 dollars for tier 1, 9 dollars for tier 2, and 24 dollars for tier 3. Which is about equal to YouTube's, but the creator of YouTube can change the price. As Twitch, you cannot change the price. Which is kind of a bad thing, but it's whatever, right? The next thing Twitch has, which is better than YouTube, is that the membership can actually get donated to viewers. So if you are a viewer, or even if you're a streamer, you can say, I donate 50 Twitch tier 1 subs to you guys. And then you give out 50 tier 1 subs to 50 random people in the stream, which YouTube should really add, but does not yet. Something else Twitch does better than YouTube is when you are sh watching the streamer, you're not getting recommended other streamers on Twitch. While on YouTube, they kind of treat your stream as a video. As when you're watching a stream, you still get the normal recommendations on under the stream or uh, next to the stream, which is not something you want when you're clearly trying to keep the viewers there. Twitch also has a different donation system, or it can have a different donation system in bits. Bits is something you pay for. You get these bits for 100 bits. It's a dollar, a one US dollar, and you can use these bits to donate to the streamer. It's exactly like a donation. It works exactly the same. But different. the difference is when you have donated a special amount of bits, you get a badge next to your name in the streaming. So you can have several badges and there's like if you donate 100,000 bits you get a super special badge that you can show everyone that yeah you support the streamer a lot and all of this already makes twitch a more comfortable or a more nice place to hang out with the streamer over youtube and the icing on the cake is that twitch has way better global emotes than youtube so before I tally up the points to see which on one of these platforms is better than the other, I wanted to talk about a few things and one of these things is the choice of color. YouTube hasn't come out and said anything publicly on why they chose the color red, but Twitch has come out publicly and said why they chose the colors they chose. And here's what they had to say. Purple is the only color alive enough to represent our collective creativity, mischievousness and energy. Our new purple is brighter and more vibrant to match that energy. Um, and that's really what they had to say. Now, let's get into something that's not that important, which is copyright. 
Copyright is already stupid on the internet, but let's just go over this quickly. Twitch has a pretty chill copyright as you can stream whatever song you want, it doesn't really matter, and it only matters after if you want to keep the VOD. Um, if you keep the VOD, Twitch will mute the audio or request you to take down the stream or the VOD as you're not allowed to use that audio, and that's where Twitch goes. Um, now when it comes to YouTube, they have videos and streams stay there permanently, unlike VODs. And YouTube actually has this mute feature, but it's really bad and it doesn't work all the time. So it's all automatically worse than Twitch, but YouTube has also more aggressive uh, copyright and more complicated. Uh, copyright can come anytime and the musician or company that owns the song can choose what they want to do with it. Meaning, copyrighted video can be no restrictions at all, it can be that monetization is not possible or monetization goes to the company. It could also be that the, the two worst, which is the, your video gets blocked um, by most viewers or that you, you ignore this and your video gets blocked by everyone and YouTube will remove your video and give you a community strike or a copyright strike on your community strike. And after three strikes, your channel gets deleted. Now, ease of use is also the last thing I want to talk about, which is, well, both of these are super easy to use, nothing really big. Do you make an account, you can start streaming or making videos instantly. It's not really that hard to understand. So now that I've talked about all that, let's tally up the points to see who is the winner of this social media battle. YouTube takes the edge in growth as it's easier to grow on YouTube because on YouTube you could always make a video uh, which can help you grow a community. So that's one nil to YouTube. YouTube also takes the win in popularity with a landslide as even though Twitch averages 3 million concurrent viewers uh, each day, YouTube has over 122 million users every single day and averages 2.1 billion users every month. So that's 2-0 to YouTube. When it comes to quality of life in streaming, this goes to Twitch as Twitch is just a better streaming place where you don't get recommended other streams while watching your favorite streamer and it just feels more personal, it feels more fun, it's always so hype when for example someone donates 50 tier 1 subs to the viewers so you feel more included and Twitch also has a few more features that YouTube can't even think about so that's 2-1. When it comes to icons I would say it's pretty much subjective and it's a draw because well you can't say which one is better they're both really iconic and both are really recognizable so yeah it's a draw 2-1 to YouTube still. When it comes to copyright Twitch takes the W as, as I explained earlier Twitch is super simple and won't punish you severely for having copyrighted music so yeah Twitch takes it so it's a 2-2. Two -two. Now, I was supposed to end it here. I w it was supposed to be a draw between these two platforms to show that, yeah, they're both great. But I can't say that after the recent changes of Twitch. And that the 70-30 split has been dropped. So let me explain. The 70-30 split is the amount of money you get as a streamer. So if someone subscribes to you with a membership or you get a donation, um, you get 70% of the money they, the viewer paid and Twitch gets 30% of the rest. But Twitch is dropping this 70-30 split, which is a fair trade, down to a 50-50. So Twitch gets half that of what the creator should get and yeah, well the creator gets the other half, which isn't the worst, but they shouldn't drop it. But what does YouTube have? Well, YouTube has the 70-30 splits. Meaning, YouTube takes the win when it comes to what platform is better. But even if YouTube won, you can still stream on Twitch and make videos on YouTube, so it's whatever. Um, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Bye.